That ball of fire in the sky may feel enchanting when summer rolls around, but let's not forget that it's actually a ball of death. Hey everyone, Lisa Green here for D News. It's that time of year again, the time when I hit the pool my friends get really annoyed with me for harping on about sunscreen. We know that the sun can give you cancer, they say. I just want to get a little tan, they say. And what can I say? I've been there. But thanks to science, I'm now legitimately freaking terrified of the sun, and here's why the whole world should be too. A new study from the Journal of the American Association for Cancer Research has found that having just five blistering sunburns before you turn 20 can turn up your melanoma risk by 80%. The researchers found that the risk for non melanoma melanoma skin cancers came predominantly from sun exposure during early life and adulthood, while the risk for melanoma was mostly associated with sun exposure in early life. They also found a 68% increase in basal cell carcinoma and squamous cell carcinoma for this age group, with five or more burns that produce blisters. It's a pretty significant finding that suggests that getting the accidental burn here and there isn't actually harmless. So what can we do about this? Well, we can't boycott the sun. I mean, it's deadly, but I kind of like having it around. You can always stay in the shade when possible, but if it's not, we have sun. Sunscreen. You probably already know that sunscreen protects your skin by blocking harmful rays from the sun. UVA rays penetrate deep in the skin while UVB rays attack the surface. You can thank UVB rays for sunburns, which is why your sunscreen should protect you from both. A consumer report recently came out looking at how effective different types of sunscreen are, and they found that Equate, Banana Boat, Copper Tone, Up and Up, Well, and Bullfrog deliver the protection they claim. Other brands reportedly provided fair protection against the deep skin damage of UVA rays, but did not deliver on protection against UVA UVB rays. So when you're buying sunscreen, make sure you get a broad spectrum coverage and at least SPF 15. SPF 30 or 50 are even better, but only by a small percentage. SPF or sun protection factor refers to how long the sunscreen will last before you need to reapply. So if your skin normally burns after 10 minutes, it won't burn for 300 minutes or a factor of 30 with SPF 30. So how thorough the coverage is depends on application. Most people only use about half of what they're supposed to to actually be protected. So make it rain with that SPF. Thanks for joining me for D News everyone. Happy sunbathing. I'll see you next time with more science updates.